Okay, I got a <coughs> couple of boys, 99 Ranger, got a hole in the radiator, right there, so I went and picked them up another one, got it over here in the box, didn't really do it, it's April, April 5th, the other day I bought me I was wrong on the last video on this I said it was an 83 open up the books look at the, actually look at the title that I got and it's an 82 82 with 22,900 miles on it but it's gonna need everything it's uh, I believe the people I got it from is old couple um, the old man had Parkinson's and uh, they had an old farm down the road from my house and uh, I saw it out there one day on my way to work and next day I said if it's still there I want to go look at it sure enough there it was and they told me a story the story was they bought it in 88 with 19,000 miles on it and they put 3,000 miles on it and the uh, the front brakes, he said something happened with the front brakes, they bled out or, you know, he lost his front brakes and pulled it into the corner of the garage and parked it and did not touch it for 26 years, literally. And uh, I believe him, by the looks of his uh, shop and stuff over there, that guy, when he buys something, he just... Something goes wrong with it, he just pushes it to the side and goes on to the next thing, so. But, uh, I got the gas tank open. It's pretty bad shape. It's, uh, right there. 22,979 miles. It's got a voltmeter, temp, altitude meter, clock. Clarion stereo. Um, the only time it got wet, it drizzled a little bit the day before I bought it. And uh, that's why it looks, everything's so splotchy. It's, I imagine it was, the cover's over there. I imagine it was uh, just one big layer of dirt on it when they pushed it out. I mean, it was terrible. The, uh, Shocks were down, and we got the uh, come along right here. And me, my wife, my son, and I cranked it up and got it up on this trailer and hauled it home. It's only a couple miles, but uh, I've been doing a lot of looking on YouTube about what my first steps should be. Um, the man told me that this thing has not been attempted to start since 92 so it's not like somebody five years ago tried to get it running and scored the pistons or anything like that with the rust that would it's bound to be in it <laughs> and uh nothing's been taken off of it you know nothing's been adjusted i mean it was parked he drove it in the corner without front brakes and uh Turned it off. Turned it off and walked away. So. But I've got a feeling it's going to clean up pretty nice. But <clears throat> I got a lot of things to do before I really mess around with this one too much. I, I'm going to get out here when I can. And um, I've got to soak the cylinders. Um, been looking at that. Man, my garage is a mess. It is a mess. You know, cold winter, I, I got heat out here, but it uh, it doesn't do anything except this little back, back part of the room right here. So when I do come out here, I end up spending most of my time back here. All right, right there. Yeah, my, these suckers are nice. That's what it is. Seekler. 
got a little blower motor on it. Right there's where you put your fuel. I burn used motor oil. Yep. 100% used motor oil. And you go outside, it burns clean. But anyways, I did oh, I talked about that already. Okay, I better get the better get to work on this radiator so my boy can go uh, go to work today. Talk to you guys later.